In this video, we're looking at the triplet model 310 multimeter uh, voltmeter. Um, the triplet 310 is uh, a great little meter that you can use for uh, standard uh, voltage readings, uh, current draw, you can check continuity and DC voltage. DC voltage range goes up to well, there's the 300 range, uh, 1200 volts, 1200 volts AC. Um, so it's a great little meter. What I use this meter primarily for is troubleshooting uh, ground faults on fire alarm panels. Fire alarm panels monitor the voltage to ground so it can tell if any of the circuits connected to the, the system is grounded. And when you get high resistance grounds, um, the panel can go into trouble and then go normal and swing back and forth and cause nuisance troubles. If you try to use a fluke or a digital meter to check for high resistance grounds, uh, a lot of the times you won't see a ground on the digital meter. So um, the panel sees the ground because of the voltage. Most fire alarm panels operate at 24 volts DC. And when you apply 24 volts DC to the circuit that's grounded, it breaks down to ground and the panel sees it. But the fluke doesn't put out enough voltage on continuity to break the fault down. So that's where the triplet 310 comes in. The triplet on the high range or the 1K setting, there's two batteries in here. It's a 1.5 volt DC and a 12 volt DC. And on the lower scales, see if you can see that they're on the lower scales it's using the 1.5 volt battery but on the 1k scale it's using the 12 volt battery and the 12 volts DC will break down the fault and see uh, grounds that the digital meter will not see and then then you use the triplet to clear the ground and once you've got as you know infinity reading then uh, your grounds clear and you're all set to go <clears throat> but uh, I'll show you real quick here. I got the fluke set up on DC voltage and we'll connect this thing here. So as you can see on the meter, the, the voltage coming out of the triplet on the continuity setting is 3.9 volts, 13.9 volts. And compare that to a fluke or a digital meter that it's going to be uh, a lot lower voltage and it won't break down the faults. So a good example, I got a little mock up here. <clears throat> a lot of ground faults on fire alarm panels happen with water and junction boxes or devices. That's a high resistance ground because the circuit is being made through the water. So if we take the meter and I got the wires in the water on both sides of the bowl we hook this up as you can see on the triplet it's seeing the ground and then when we take when we take the out uh, of conductor out of the water, our ground clears. So you can see the sensitivity on this where it is reading continuity through a bowl of water. Now if this bowl was ground or metal building steel and this was water, then this is how we transfer ground through a junction box or a device uh, that has water in it. Another common uh, fault is underground cabling. Over time, the underground cabling conduits break, etc., and you pick up a ground uh, underground that the digital meters will typically not pick up. So there you have it. <clears throat> if you uh, troubleshoot uh, any type of underground cabling or uh, any kind of cabling, uh, you want to make sure you don't have grounds. 
um, and the triplet uh, really shines on troubleshooting high resistance fire alarm circuit grounds but uh, that's it if you uh, uh, I highly recommend it if you do any type of that work I highly recommend the uh, triplet 310 so I hope you got something out of this thanks for watching and uh, if you would please subscribe please like and uh, I'll be making some more videos thanks <laughs>